a times a is equal to a square. a times a times a is equal to a to the power of 3. a times a times a times a is equal to a to the power of 4. So a to the power of 4 is index form. a times a times a times a we call this is expanded form. So for index form a this one a here is the base whereas 4 is the power or index or exponent. Let's do a few examples. So we want to write this in index form. So first of all, b times b times b times b. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So b to the power of 4. 6 times 6 times 6. So which is equal to 6 to the power of 3. 5 times p times 5 times 5 times p. So we just do the, the number first. So which is 5 times 5 times 5. So which is 5 to the power of 3. And with p, so p times p is p to the power of 2 or p squared. Last one here. 8 times 8 times 8 which is 8 to the power of 3 and m times m times m so which is m to the power of 3 as well. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So first of all 4 times 4 times 4 so which is 4 to the power of 3 m times m times m times m so m to the power of 4 and this one here so which is 2 times 2 times 2 so which is 2 to the power of 3 and y times y, so which is y square. Now for the second last one, 3 times 3, so which is 3 square. And for p, so 1, 2, 3, so which is p to the power of 3. For t, t times t, which is t square. Now last one here. So 15 times 15 times 15 times 15 times 15 times 15. So which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 15 to the power of 6. Now let's add a bit of flavor. So we want to write this in index form as well. So which is so first of all, m times m, which is m square. We plus n times n times n, so which is n to the power of 3. So at this one here, so which is 2, which is write 2 down first, so times y times y, so y times y is y square. We just put the plus here, this plus here, we just write it down first. So now, x times x times x times x. So which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So which is x to the power of 4. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So first one here, so 6, we write it down first. Now t times t times t, so which is t to the power of 3. 
So for P, we just write this down first, plus. So we just write plus down first. So which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So P to the power of 4. For the last one. So C times C times C, which is C to the power of 3. So for second terms, which is we write a plus first. So let's do D first. So 1, 2. So D times D is T, D squared. For E, 1, 2, 3, 4. So which is E times E times E times E, which is E to the power of 4. Now, write h power of 3 in expanded form. So first of all, we know that h power of 3, so which is like h times h times h. That's all. Now, 7 square h cube m square, so we write in index, so we write in expanded form. So 7 square, it is 7 times 7. h cube it is h times h times h. And m squared, it is times by m times m. a squared, b, c to the power of 3. So which is a times a. Now b, I just times b. Where c cube, it is c. So which is times c, times c, and times c again. This one here, r square plus t cube. So I just write underneath here. So r square, it is r times r. Where's t cube or t to the power of 3? It is equal to t times t times t. Last one. I just need to clear this one first. So last one here. So 2y square is just 2 times y times y. We add n square m cube it is n times n. And then we time m cube which is m times m times m. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. W to the power of 4 is equal, it just equal to W times W times W and times W again. 5 square h square, so which is equal to 5 times 5. And h square is just time h times h. Last one here. So 6, just write it down. Times d square is just like d times d. And then g which is times g. Then the minus, I just write it down. 7e to the power of 3 or 7e cube if you like. It is equal to 7 times e, e times e, times e again. Thank you so much for watching.